Steve Bell, heavy reading with uh, covering the connected car at CES. I am here with Andrew Till uh, from Harman. Hi. Hi, Steve. Great to be with you. Um, Harman has been uh, an interesting company because it's aggregated a lot of different uh, co other companies in and, and has also been aggregated itself. You know, maybe you can give us a quick sort of overview of all the different companies that we've brought together. Absolutely. So over the last few years, Harman has expanded from three divisions, primarily focused on uh, car entertainment systems, professional audio and lifestyle audio, to bring in a dedicated software service division and to further expand out into the cloud, cybersecurity, software over the air updating, and to make sure that for all of our customers we can start scaling across their uh, value chains. And now, of course, being part of Samsung, we have access to the world's second largest R&D budget to further wow. accelerate technology innovation. So you're in an interesting cross space as well because there's different technologies coming into the vehicle, not only from communication, but from artificial intelligence and cloud and, and all sorts of things. So what have you been announcing at the show? Great question. <laughs> so where do I start? <laughs> um, so we've been announcing the latest version of our Ignite platform, which is an automated cloud platform for OEMs, yeah. um, including integration with Samsung's cloud. And we're here demonstrating vehicle to infrastructure and friction free user experiences based on uh, vehicle to cloud and cloud to vehicle scenarios. Uh, we've also been announcing a number of enhancements around our the autonomous driving uh, platforms, uh, which are available to see here on the booth. Um, and also the integration of traditional HMI and instrumentation cluster as a digital cockpit solution. So the autonomous car, what, what, what are you showing in that? So here on the booth we're showing uh, effectively the, the car brain behind the autonomous vehicle, um, but critically also all the redundancy capabilities we have to, to ensure that you have complete confidence in an autonomous vehicle. Uh, we're bringing together a lot of the different technologies, the cloud capabilities, camera and imaging recognition, digital assistant capabilities, and deep learning capabilities, as well as personal uh, driver profiling to deliver a very unique but safe and secure uh, solution. And of course, all of that's wrapped within our uh, Shield cybersecurity platform. So security is obviously a big concern for everybody, and, and the car tends to be you know, vulnerable from two perspectives. One, it can be physically violated, yes. you know, and there's the CAM bus issue, and you know, how do you access that? But then there's also the over-the-air element as well. So, so do you just focus on the over-the-air, or do you look at it as an end-to-end -end security? So I think when you look at security, you have to recognize it's a system-level issue, and it's an industry-level issue. So yeah. we protect the CAM bus and the other TCUs, ECU components, inside the vehicle. We also work on and focus on uh, cybersecurity in the cloud, so we create chains of trust between the vehicle and the cloud. But we also work with organizations like Auto ISAC, um, our fast test track that we recently announced in Israel, where we're collaborating with the industry to share data, share learnings, and ensure that across the industry we're able to implement the latest and the, and the, and the most advanced cybersecurity techniques. So we're in the car and we were talking about connectivity into the vehicle, but you've got more things. We were talking a little bit about the cloud. Can you sort of just give me an overview of what you were talking about in terms of some of the other areas? Absolutely. So you can see as you go around the, uh, the booth, we're demonstrating vehicle to infrastructure connectivity, right using the Ignite Cloud, we're showing how you can build personal driver profiles, you can manage a software build at an individual vehicle level. We're demonstrating our world-class over-the-air software updating for vehicles where we have just over 30 million vehicles on road today wow. being updated. Over here, we're exploring how to uh, bring big data technologies into the automotive dealership and make sure that as we move into the connected car world, in the, in the retail environment, they're able to explain all of those concepts and start engaging and personalizing the vehicle in the dealership so that when you receive your new car, it's set up for you and it's a unique personalized experience. So we talked about a little bit about security and, and blockchain is, yes. is top. So blockchain can be used in different ways, right? And even enhancing the, uh, the experience for the, for the consumer. Absolutely. So I think blockchain is one of those technologies that we're extremely excited about and being part of Samsung, we suddenly have access to some very advanced blockchain technology. Inside the vehicle, we're really exploring permission ledger technology. Right. And let me talk about a couple of use cases we think could start to drive uh, new business models in the industry. 
The first is aftermarket parts. Uh, so today, when you buy an aftermarket part, you don't know if it's a genuine manufacturer part or a grey market part. Now, if that part has blockchain built into it, right. it's able to declare itself to the car, the part dials home, checks with the manufacturer's uh, database, validates itself, <coughs> It's written into the blockchain, and we now have an immutable record of that service history. When you come to sell the car or trade it in, you're now able to demonstrate the service history of surety. The, uh, the new car buyer knows exactly what they're getting, so the after-sale market of the vehicle is higher. As a driver, I know that uh, my vehicle is operating all the time at the original specifications of the manufacturer. And um, if there are any questions, any, uh, any concerns, I'm able to go in and fully understand exactly what's been happening around any of those parts, any of the vehicle interactions. Even on recalls as well, I would imagine. Absolutely on recalls. We think there, again, it can be a very transformative technology. If you also think about um, user-based insurance, ride-sharing, using blockchain to be able to identify who's in the vehicle, understand their, their unique driving behavior, and therefore apply user-based uh, insurance uh, techniques yeah. in real time, to the uh, current driver of the vehicle, again, offering a lot of new business model opportunities. For is there, a, is there value for blockchain also with the dealers in terms of being able to sort of use that data to maybe personalize the vehicle? Absolutely. I think this is one of the areas where we're looking to help the dealers exploit the big data technologies that are available, user personalization, to complete a 360 degree journey so that when, they're, when you have somebody in the dealership and you're taking them through that great experience of buying a new car, that then flows into the new car itself and through the servicing life cycle of the, uh, the vehicle. Yeah, well thank you. I mean, one thing is for certain, it's not just about the vehicle, it's about the ecosystem around the vehicle. So it's good to see you guys uh, covering it. Thanks very much, Andrew. Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it. Cheers. My pleasure.